Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's Bitcoin TA. As you can see the light is on green so there are signs that we could see here some more pushes to the upside in the lower time frames. So let's start right now with the one hour time frame because currently you can see that Bitcoin after consolidating here and breaking from this $9,440 support we had an initial dump here towards $9,200 and currently we broke out again from this potential fall wedge and we're building up support above the old resistance which now in theory should become support and this is also where the 20 moving average is lining up in the one hour time frame so I'm expecting here to have a possible retest here of the $9,500 level where also the 20 daily moving average is more or less lining up so this is what we're gonna check later in the daily time frame but here in the one hour also you can see that the RSI is now back above the 50 level stochastic is coming up here in overbought condition so we could see here a possible retest of the new support that we have currently we already wicked down and tested it once now let's hope that we can close this one hour candle above 9370 and if we go over to the Bollinger Band here also it is looking again more bullish because currently we're trading again in the upper area so in theory we could go easily towards 9430 and we should have this support at around 9340. MACD is now also shifted to the upside so here in the one hour it looks like that we could see some pushes to the upside in the next coming hours and here in the four hour it is still looking a bit bearish here but also here in case that we could close a four hour candle above here the 20 moving average which currently is giving us resistance here at around $9,400 then we could see a possible retest here of this $9,500 area. RSI is still below the 50 so here as I told you we need to close above the 20 moving average and also bring the RSI back above the 50 like in the one hour in order to have this possible move here towards 9500 and potentially also break this new resistance that we have right now. Stochastic is still oversold so also here in theory we should see an attempt of the bulls here to break again this moving average and start to test again $9500. Only if we really can break $9500 $9,500 we are back in track here towards uh, 10,000 and higher but as long as we are keeping this resistance at 9,500 we could fall at any time towards 9k and lower that's why currently we are in a very critical point and we should be prepared for all scenarios if we have a look also here in the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that currently we are testing here the middle line so far we got rejected so here it looks like that we are getting rejected and we should expect the price to go again towards 9270 possibly also lower MACD is flat here so let's see what will be the next move because in that case we could have a bullish cross here but also if we continue to dump we could see here the MACD again shifted to the downside so here one hour is looking good four hour not so good so in the four hour it looks like that we're getting rejected here in a very important uh, moment but let's see in case that we are able to bring here the RSI above the 50 and also close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average which is currently at around 9400 we could be in here for a test of 9500 and possibly also break it and here the daily now very important because yesterday we closed the right at the 50 daily moving average so we were expecting here a possible close below the 50 daily but so far we closed right at the 50 and in theory right now we could see here a potential retest of the 20 daily moving average at 9480 that's why I still think we could have here a retest of this region up here and it will be important to break it and close above this moving average so far we are trading below the 50 daily moving average so we could see here a possible dump here coming up pretty soon so far you can see it also on the wicks here every dip got bought up immediately but this shows also that the bears are also here and they're trying to press the price to the downside and currently also we could lose here very easily the 50 level in the RSI and in that case we would have a lot of room left here to see a possible dump towards here the 200 daily moving average currently at 8240 possibly even lower towards the 20 weekly moving average where we're gonna 
go next but first let's have also a look here in the bollinger band because here in the daily we are still trading in the lower part so also here in theory we could go easily towards the 9150 level macd is also shifted to the downside so here in the daily we still didn't recover so here in the daily we're still shifted to the downside in my opinion very dangerous because we could be in here for a massive move to the downside but as i told you so far we had a lot of fake outs and that's why we cannot really trust here I think only if we're starting to close uh, four hour and daily candles below $9,000, then we have the confirmation that we are on the way to our bearish targets of around 8,000 to even uh, down to $6,500. And now we can go over to the weekly time frame because here you can see where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up right here at 8,550. This is where I think we could have some initial uh, supports here in case of a, a breakout to the downside. RSI still above the 50. That is a good sign, but the stochastic is overbought. So here it is possible that we first have to cool off here a bit before we are gearing up here for a possible test here of the main resistance that is coming down here at around $9,500 to $10,000 right now. So I still think the scenario that we could see here a right shoulder and then have a breakout from the main resistance is very likely to happen just in case that we're gonna start to trade sideways here and we will not see a breakout for a very long time. So let's say till end of August, then I think we might be never seeing again a dump like this. And we're gonna just stay in this area here at around 9,000 till we're gonna break out here from this uh, resistance maybe also here start to trade sideways and then have a possible push here to the upside because of the volatility that we are seeing right now also in the stock market i don't think that we're gonna just start to trade sideways here for a couple of weeks so i think a big move will come first we're gonna see a big dump and then the breakout this is what i think will happen but of course we could also at any time break out from this main resistance especially if also the stocks are starting to pump here again so i'm prepared for all scenarios but of course we are in a very critical point right now and also watching at the stock market because here at the moment we really have high volatility coming back here yesterday i drawn for you in the live stream here this descending a triangle we were talking about that here we could see a potential breakout to the downside but as you can see once more we are breaking here to the upside so there was a 30 percent chance that we would break out to the upside and we broke out right now here in the s p 500 mini futures to the upside and we're testing once more here the 3140 level like we tested over here so the more we test it the more weaker it gets so i'm also here in the s p i'm expecting here a possible push to the upside for today so before we're gonna close the stock market let's see what the day will bring but I think if the S&P 500 mini futures are starting to trade again above 3140 and possible test here these highs that we had at 3230 I think also on Bitcoin we're gonna see something similar so we're gonna see a retest of 10k pretty soon and that's why I think maybe this dump that everyone is waiting will not happen but of course it could happen at any time especially during the weekends so that's why be very careful if you're keeping up a trade during the weekend or if you plan to trade on the weekend usually i like more to trade from monday to friday when also the stocks are trading but uh, on the weekend sometimes we see big moves to the upside to the downside and then also create this so-called cme futures gap that we like to trade sometimes so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now remember that we still have this promotion going on until tomorrow for bybit so currently you can get 100 dollar extra bonus if you put a 0.2 bitcoin deposit you will get this bonus automatically into your wallet if you put this deposit within the 20th of june important is just that you already signed up with my sign up link that you find down below here in the video description or you're opening up a new account with my invitation link so make sure to claim this bonus and also this 90 dollars that bybit anyway give you if you sign up with my link and also you can use the other exchanges down below here femex prime xpt and bityard because also there you can get some bonuses and currently i'm doing four review videos for bityard so make sure to subscribe to the channel because also then you will get notified when i do these tutorials these small reviews for bityard 
because here you can get a lot of bonuses up to $260 if you trade with high volume and with high leverage because here you get rewards based on your trading volume and the more leverage you use of course the more volume you have so make sure also to check up those videos also it will be very important to have already those exchanges ready to trade in case of a breakout and in case that you want to go long or short so make sure that you are already everything setting up for a possible breakout if you want to trade because it will be too late to open up an account and put deposit here if the big move is coming and you definitely don't want to miss out those gains in case of a breakout here to the upside or to the downside so my recommendation for you is to trade maximum up to 10x on a Bybit because here you can trade directly with your cryptos to US dollar pair. It's a very easy and fast platform and BitYard I recommend if you use high leverage and also here you can easily set up your order and you will not get liquidated because in this exchange here you have to put already take profits and stop losses. So it is very useful when you use high leverage here and you can do almost nothing wrong here plus you will get awarded here with a lot of bonuses if you use high leverage and you use a lot of volume up to 260 dollars you can get here and the other exchange that i'm using is femex because here i can trade gold to us dollar so if you're interested in trading gold you can do that over on femex with us dollar or also with bitcoin so if you're interested in that you can use my sign up link down below here in the video description so you can also get 72 dollars sign up bonus so later i also will go live guys so in case that you want to watch make sure to sign up also to twitch you find the link to my twitch channel also down below here in the video description and i'm also always announcing it over on discord shout out to all to you people over on discord thank you very much for all your great comments and we have a really great community over there the link to our discord trading chat you also find down below here in the video description everyone is welcome and is completely for free so feel free to join our discord chat so if you like the content guys please leave a like also let me know down below here in the comment section what do you think are we gonna see a big breakout to the upside to test 10k or are we on the way towards 8k and 6k thank you again very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye